Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do a quick love reading for you. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with you, Sag. All right, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Out the gate, um, good life, good, good food, good drink, luxury, emotional stability, fulfillment. Um, just waiting for that 10th cup, waiting for partnership. All right, waiting to take things to the next level, to share resource, abundance. All right, some of you could be pregnant or um, pregnant with an idea, trying to bring something to life or fruition. Wow, the high priestess, yeah. Um, some of you could be uh, desiring, hoping for, wishing for the high priestess, uh, a woman. This is feminine energy, so. Um, a woman, feminine energy that is in the background, that is doing nothing, that is not moving, that is not saying anything, that is not speaking. Um, you desire this woman. This woman, almost unattainable, but highly desirable, mysterious. If you've already had this woman, you feel like the sex is magnificent. You want this back. You want this energy back. This woman is entitle nothing to you she's not your girlfriend your lover she's nothing right now she's just resting in that energy of taking space in your mind in your heart also the high priestess when she shows up it tells us to answer the riddle in our life right now why am i showing up to you because the high priestess talks about intuition so it, it asks you to think about that small voice that faint whisper that speaks to you that tells you that something or someone is for you it's calling you to sit in that energy the high priestess is that conduit between reality and uh, the subconscious in the heavens in the spiritual realm so um yeah really interesting energy here too it says that you could be having some mind-blowing sex coupled with the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess. Yeah. The Justice card. Woo, you're dealing with... This is witchy vibes. Somebody like a witch. Um, yeah. Uh, you, you want the universe. The universe is going to do something here. The judgment will be rendered. Everybody's going to get what is due unto them, what is fair, what is just. If there was unfair treatment, the wrongs will be right, made right. The power dynamic, we're going to find um, that there no longer will be a power struggle because some decision will be made. It's final. Debts will be paid, apology made, doors open. Interesting energy. The death card. Something completely shifts, completely changes. Surrounding your your foundation, your home, where you have roots. Something is being something has been dying. It has not been watered. It hasn't been cultivated. There's no growth there. It is dying. It's it's at death's door. What the hell is this about? Seven of Pentacles. If this is like some layer connection to where you're already in. A connection but you want something or somebody else it's, it's like whatever you're already in is dying and you're going to have opportunity to get something else or have something else judgment is being made it's 
seven of pentacles there has been inactivity between you and somebody else you and something else you're frustrated with the process of how things is going or how things are going but you're willing to see it through to the end because you want long-term fulfillment here star card this is this is a tough read i'm not tough but it's um real um lots of a uh, major arcana all right so spirit is working on you sad uh, looks like somebody wants reconciliation they want to come back together they want um reunion they want to get back on the right path the star card talks about path right path uh, right person, right path, healing, restoration, rejuvenation, friend groups, technology. I don't know. It's I heard somebody's missing their friend. Nine of Swords, yeah. Tomorrow is trying to skirt around the the Nine of Swords. Didn't want to feel it didn't want to acknowledge it, didn't want to really face it head on. But now it's like you or somebody else has to rest in that sea of emotions and thoughts. Somebody's replaying, re going over something that happened, an event took place. They're going over it over and over again. They're not sleeping. Their sleep pattern is sporadic could be a night shift worker it, it even adds to the fact that you're you're sleeping or your resting is is not happening something is not something's not healed within you something is lost somebody has to because they kept trying to go around the grieving process and go around the feelings they have to rest in it now The Knight of Pentacles, because somebody's not moving. Someone's being stubborn in a connection, not opening up, not talking, not giving. Someone was devoted or is devoted, but what is the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, Ace of Cups. All right, stubbornness. Somebody couldn't open up. Someone couldn't offer it. Someone couldn't pull the trigger. But they're very much in love with someone. Someone also feels like they're not in love with me, like I'm in love with them. Loving someone who doesn't love you back. Somebody is, or they need to start to get more firm in their spirituality, somebody could be awakening to their power. The Knight of Wands here. Somebody started to love themselves and they didn't move. They didn't move off their square. That's you, Sag, with the Knight of Wands. I don't know what this is. Ten of Swords. Someone acted impulsively, compulsive. Overly confident, sure of themselves, boastful, arrogant, fast, passionately, right into their demise, the Ten of Swords, right into, up until the end. And then they got blindsided with the collapse, with the desolation of something. They got slapped in the face with a closed door. Now somebody's at a place of not being able to cope. Maybe because they weren't able to stay. They weren't able to stay put. They weren't able to show up as grounded. Somebody's grounded. The other person was ungrounded. Wow. Now the door is closed. Queen of Swords, someone is being met with the sword of truth they've been cut out she's rendered her own judgment interesting reading 
What's this all about? Looks like a relationship. Somebody cut somebody off. You know, um, it's done. And now the other person is wanting the, the connection back. But it's like a lot of spirit holding something back or holding an energy back or holding something up or it was supposed to happen like this you know, support spiritual growth you know religion and spirituality it's all over this reading i don't know some of some of you are really growing into your power interesting reading sagittarius there is support here for you i think you had to cut some people off you can't take them with you the path, the journey is not designated. Um, doesn't have room for them. They they can't go with you. This is your reading. I hope that it resonated. Um, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel uh, by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Sag. Many blessings to you.